Hello, assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to a new video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today this is a new tutorial and this is going to be a really fast tutorial and there are many people around uh, which are asking me that how to mount an EFI drive and how to make a backup. I have already made a video over it but still I want to show you people how to make a backup of your EFI drive and how to install your EFI on an other USB drive so you can do a backup in case you just messed up your config.plst or you deleted some text and stuff so the first thing you have to do is you have to open the clever configurator once it's open you have to go to the uh, mount EFI section under the tool section you have to click this and here you have to mount the EFI partition of your system on which you have installed OS X I have four different hard drives connected to my system and the number one is the one on which my OS X is installed so I will open it I will mount this and here is my EFI partition mounted I'll zoom back and what you have to do is you have to open this EFI partition you have to copy all the content into any backup EFI area and if you have already placed you can just replace it so you have copied your EFI into this backup EFI area what you have to do after this is you have to mount an other EFI of an other hard drive or USB drive in this case in the case of my video I have connected a USB hard drive to my system which will work identical if you have connected a USB drive to your system the only difference is the size so what, what I have to do is I have to mount partition of my hard drive which is connected to USB which is connected through USB you can see here one is the backup sign and the other is the outer sign which means it's an USB connected hard drive so the EFI of this hard drive is yellow and probably it's empty so it's empty and what you have to do is you have to open this backup EFI folder here you can see and you have to copy the content of this folder into this EFI so it's copying the files into this EFI and ta-da eject it so you can eject it or you can eject it later on so this is the first method and there is one other method which is quite fast and easy to use and you just don't need to do big backups for it as well like that's really simple what you have to do is you have to close this and you have to go to EFI and here you have to check if you have config.backup.plst so if you don't have this config.backup.plst that means you have not updated your clever bootloader to the latest version right now it's 4035 and if you haven't updated you can just check now if you have this clever system preferences or you can just go to internet browser and here you can write clever 4035 and there might be a latest version of this bootloader if you're watching this video later in the time so you can just download the latest one available or you can just write clever 4035 and press enter so right now the website is running real slow and I will quit that I've already downloaded this folder and you can just update your clever configurator you can just open it continue continue install and just enter the password and ta -da. it will automatically detect the system partition in which you have installed your OS X and it will update it automatically once you have updated you will see a config.plst all you need to do is you need to do a restart before editing it so once you have done a successful restart or a successful boot this clever bootloader will copy the contents of config.plst into the config backup.plst so that means if you have one or two successful boots before you get in any error that means you already have a config.backup.plst but do remember that this config.backup.plst is only a backup of this original config.plst so if you do any changes in, in text or in drivers or in driver 64 UFI you have to make a backup of this a proper backup using a USB drive so you just don't stuck in the boot panic or something but if you're doing a simple config.plst checkup so if you're trying to different values in config.plst then you don't have to worry because the last successful config details will be saved in this config.plst and how you can use this config.plst 
I will show you after restarting my system into my Clever GUI. So I have just booted into my Clever uh, bootloader and this is the GUI, the graphic user interference of Clever bootloader. And from here you select your OS X every time you want to boot into your OS X or your, you select your Windows if you want to boot into Windows. So you can automatically set that if the system wants to boot directly into OS X or it should give a stay of 3 or 5 or 10 seconds before the Clever boots the OS X. But it's your choice if you want to boot directly into OS or you want to give a stay. So we're here to learn how we can load the backup config.plst instead of the normal config.plst. All you have to do is you have to move into this option sections and here you can see I have added different boot flags and stuff and here you can see or you can read this config the little config and here you can press hit press enter and you can select the config slash backup press enter and you can return and now you might see changes here and here and I will go return and now I will select my boot Mac OS X now we'll press enter and zoom out and the V minus V was added before this so you can see that the stuff loads real fast while it's in here and this is because the last time I booted into the OS X I was using the minus V verbos because I was doing some checkups before I made this video on the section and that's all I was trying some different stuff so Come on, man, it's doing so much loading, isn't it? And ta da! It loaded up the system and the screen is up. Oh, it's giving some errors and stuff. So, that's how you can use the backup.config.plst to boot into the OS X, and right now it's doing some stupid stuff but ignore it so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and all the stuff went wrong because the system right now booted into the safe mode instead of the normal mode because i just mistakenly might have used the minus x so let's finish the video it's getting real long so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it for more such videos please help me through patreon and give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it and if you disliked it give give it a thumbs up and for more videos please like share and subscribe and help me through patreon until the very next video please take care allah hafiz